I think it's great to come, you know, 18 months on and be able to say to people in Fianna Fáil, you know, we have turned the corner. There are very good signs out there. Uh, we think we can grow the economy and we continue to grow. We think we will create significant jobs into the future. And we need to give confidence to people because people have never saved more money than they have at this time in Ireland. Mm. And what we need to do is to get people to have the confidence to go out and start spending money again, start investing in the economy. <laughs> It's a great concept. It gives the organisation an opportunity to ask questions, to air their views on national issues, issues on local issues, on the organisation and where the party is going. And I, I just think it's a marvellous concept. You said you saw the turnout here tonight, Paul. It was absolutely fabulous. Packed room and great interaction. Well, we got two very fine addresses, obviously, setting out the state of the nation, literally from the Tánaiste and from the Minister for Enterprise, Trade and Employment. But I think much more importantly, they were very generous in the time that they gave to deal comprehensively with the vast number of questions that came from the floor. And if there was a complaint, I suppose, that as this meeting ends, it was that there were a whole lot more people seeking to engage directly with the ministers. And I think when we hold another one of these functions, which we certainly will, we'll see an even bigger attendance. Yes. They're a brilliant idea. Uh, they're long overdue. It's time for headquarters to come down and meet the people on, on the ground. And Battle Chief and May Cochrane have done that tonight. I do believe that the question from the floor was excellent. There were national issues brought up, there were local issues brought up, and the responses were appropriate to the questions. And I, on behalf of my, myself and the people of North today, I say thanks to the organisation for doing that. The big issues are, are employment and uh, education. I think they're the two big issues. And I, it was very welcome to have uh, the former Minister of Education and the current Minister of Education. But despite the serious financial difficulty in which we find ourselves in, we have made education a priority and we've seen a number of, of, of um, school programmes being supported here and major investment taking place in the whole education facilities in Kildare. So we very much appreciate that. So obviously over the years I've been used to going to our dashes and while we all enjoy the fun and the crack and the opportunity to meet people from all around the country, there's very little interaction with the people at the senior level of the party. So when we have a situation where we have ministers that can come down with their expertise and experience in relation to a particular area and everybody, not just public representatives, has the opportunity on their own home ground to raise the issues that quite possibly in our dash, there isn't the time. Huge range of uh, views and questions expressed tonight, and I think it was appreciated by the members of the organisation. They had the opportunity to put their questions, put their issues, and their concerns to two ministers who I have to say did extremely well. Uh, took all the questions on board, answered them fully and frankly, and uh, I think everybody has gone away with a little bit of a spring of their step. Honestly, it was the best one so far. The, everyone had an opportunity to talk to as much as they wanted, like ask questions. The interaction was really, really good this time, which is the first time for everything. And now I found that out of the other people that did come along, they felt that because they were given the equal opportunity as the senior party, they could interact as much as possible. And I, I felt for some time that the organisation was neglected, um, that we should have spent more time uh, as a government talking to them, listening to them, um, supporting the organisation itself, uh, giving them confidence, uh, telling them what we were about, um, and indicating the successes that were part of you know, what were very tough decisions by government. I think we'd had a wonderful me meeting here this evening. It was certainly far more interactive than I thought it would be, or indeed I think that many of the people who are now leaving felt. I, I, I've seen people at the meeting tonight that I haven't seen at Fianna Fáil functions in several years, and I think they've gone away with a high level of enthusiasm, and that's what the whole thing was about.